Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Hi, I'm Jane. I am here again for my 1A Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2.30 in room 503. Today we will be working on comprehension. All right, so you're going to need your Making Connections book and the matching workbook, all right? So first, we're gonna start off with a blank piece of paper, okay? So we're going to have a quick spelling, uh, vocab test, all right? Okay, number one. <clears throat> to look the same, to look the same. Number two, a kind of sport played with a ball and basket. Kind of sport played with a ball and basket. Okay, number three, a building with only one floor. A building with only one floor. Number four, what is S-S-E-T? It is a what? And it has five floors. Okay. <clears throat> Number five, parts and levels of a building. Parts and levels of a building. All right. Number six, this is for hair, in circles, if hair is in circles, it is what? Okay? Number seven, in one line, in one line. Number eight, sticky cake made of rice. Sticky cake made of rice. All right, and number nine, Tim likes Tom and Tom likes Tim. So they like, okay? All right, we only have nine words this time. So go ahead and get out a red pen and we're gonna check our answers, okay? So number one, look alike. Look alike. Number two, Basketball, basketball. Number three, one story, one story. And yes, you need the line. If you don't have the line, it doesn't count. Sorry, guys. Four, building, building. Five, Floors or floors, either is correct. Okay. Number six is curly. Well, let me switch markers because I'm dying. This one is two. It's a little bit of curly. Number seven, straight, straight. Number nine, I mean eight, sorry, eight is rice cake, rice cakes. And number nine is each other. Okay, so check over those really quick. And then in your workbook, okay, we are going to turn to page 31 and check our answers for the homework, okay? Okay. Number one, Tim is my best 
friend. Tim is my best friend. Number two, we have lunch together. Lunch together. Number three, I like watermelon. Watermelon. But Tim likes rice cakes. Rice cakes. Number four, Tim's hair is straight and mine is curly. Straight, curly. Number five, we both have brown eyes. Brown eyes. Number six, Tim lives on the sixth floor of a tall building. Okay, the sixth floor of a tall building. Number seven. I have a one story house. I have three big sisters. Tim has a little sister. The little sister. Number 10. Tim and I like to draw pictures. Number 11. My favorite sport. It is baseball. Tim plays basketball. Basketball. Tim and I do not really look alike. Look alike. My family is not the same as Tim's family. We might, so we might, not like all the same things, but we really like each other, each other. Okay. So now, after you're done checking that, we're going to need our blue making connection to student book, okay? Okay. Because now we're going to introduce our final set of vocabulary words. Okay, crunchy. Food that is hard and makes a noise when you eat it. 
Um, typically, when you bite into an apple, you can hear the sound. So it's crunchy. Fruity, like a fruit. So if something tastes fruity, it has a fruit taste to it. Okay, and then smooth, not lumpy, not soft. Okay? So these are our words we are going to be listening for. All right? So on page 92, we love ice cream. Okay. I love ice cream, said Dan. My favorite flavor is chocolate chip. Chocolate chip tastes sweet. It feels icy cold on my tongue. Chocolate chip ice cream is white and brown. It is lumpy and crunchy. Yum. All right, so let's circle. We're going to circle flavor, chocolate chip, chocolate chip again, taste, Sweet, feels, icy, chocolate chip again, lumpy, and crunchy, okay? Page 93. I love ice cream too, said Jen. My favorite flavor is mango. Mango ice cream tastes sweet and fruity. It makes my tongue cold too. It is a sunny yellow color. Mango ice cream is very smooth. Yum. All right, so what are we going to circle? We're going to circle flavor, taste, sweet, fruity, and smooth. Okay? All right. So now we are going to turn to page 94 and answer these questions together. So, mango. How does mango ice cream taste? Do you remember? She said, fruity, smooth, Pretty smooth. And it is yellow. What about chocolate chip? So chocolate chip is crunchy, lumpy, and brown and white. Brown and white. Okay? So make sure you have this written down. Okay, now on page 95, we are going to answer the questions. So what are what is the same about the two ice cream? Write two words. So first, you want to write cold, right? They both said it's icy and cold on their tongue. And two, they said it is yummy. Yummy. Okay? All right. So, find a word that means part of your mouth. What is part of your mouth that you use to taste? That's right, your tongue. The T-O-N-G-U-E. Tongue. All right. Now, at the bottom, this is for you to do on your own. What is your favorite frozen treat? Write three words to tell about it and draw a picture. Okay? So mine is mint chocolate chip ice cream. So I would say it's green, it's lumpy, and it's cold. Mmm. Okay, so you guys can try that, all right? Okay. Now, in your workbook, we are going 
going to turn to page, so workbook, page 32 and 33. All right, so number one, what is Dan's favorite flavor of ice cream? He said it is chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Okay, how does it taste? Do you remember how he said it tastes? If you're not sure, flip back in the book and look in the text, okay? So, he says it tastes sweet, right? So it tastes sweet. Number three, what is Jen's favorite flavor? Her favorite flavor was mango. Do you remember how mango tastes? That's right, it tastes sweet and fruity. So sweet and fruity. Good. So, number five, how is mango ice cream different than chocolate chip? So remember, chocolate chip is crunchy, so mango is smooth, and chocolate chip is sweet, so is mango, but is chocolate chip fruity? No. So it is smooth and fruity. That is how it is different, right? Okay, so six through ten are for you to answer at home, okay? So, do you like ice cream? Yes or no? What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Write down the flavor. Why do you like that flavor? Write it down. What color is that ice cream? Write that down. And when do you eat ice cream? Do you eat it in the morning, in the evening, in the summer, in the winter? When? When is the perfect time for you to eat ice cream? Okay? All right. So that is all I have for you today. Please make sure you finish page 33 and study your vocabulary. All right? You guys take care, and I hope to see you next time. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. S-S-E-T, English Town.